Hey, good morning everybody, Anthony Carino here. Excited to be doing the Chief Architect uh, social media takeover today. Uh, I've got a design owner's rep project management firm here in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, I really do work all over the country. Uh, I do probably 50% residential uh, and 50% commercial, um, and that is split between hotels, restaurants, uh, common areas. Um, so, uh, you know, really use chief architect to, to make my life easier, uh, make conveying things to clients, uh, faster, showing them design options. Um, and then uh, I've got a couple other technology, uh, platforms I'm going to share with you as well today. Uh, drop in a comment or a question box rather in here. If you have questions for me or how I go about things, I'm excited to answer them. Um, other than that, we'll dive into it and, uh, see how the day goes. Excited to hang with you. Thanks guys. So one of the newer ways I've been using Chief Architect actually uh, is for set design. Uh, I also design sets for television shows. So here what we're looking at is a, uh, a new grilling competition show that's being pitched currently. Um, it's going to hopefully take place out in Montana because I'm excited to get out there. Um, but what I've done is set up basically a large field um, with, with a whole bunch of different elements in it. And then you can see these cameras I've got set up here. So there's a, a push-in camera, there's a, a side rolling camera uh, with, a, uh, with a 90 degree uh, camera on that. And then I've got this big arcing um, camera over here on the, on the right that, that swings around. I'm gonna post a video after uh, this one showing you what all that looks like when I put it together. Sorry, I can't do more with my mouse because I've got to keep my hand on the uh, Instagram button for this double camera thing. <laughs> Hopefully this is working out okay. Uh, check it out. So if you're not familiar with that tool in Chief Architect, that is your walkthrough tool. Um, you can set the cameras up in the 2D plan view, like you saw with the double cameras. And then that last video that was just posted is the output of, of what it looks like in the 3D rendered environment. So I find that really powerful when I can't be in a meeting or a set presentation uh, needs to occur, when you want a, a, a certain view or a certain walkthrough to take place. The other way to do that to give clients more freedom, which is typically what I do with residential stuff, is I'll upload my full 3D model to the Chief Architect Cloud, and then I have my clients download the uh, iPhone or Android app from Chief Architect, which is their viewer, uh, and then they're able to load that, um, that full 3D model in and walk about the house uh, however they like uh, with no limitations so they can take their time and look at the things they want to look at. I'll post one of those now. So the navigation there can take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, I hope I didn't make anybody sick with uh, with me flying through the barn project there. Um, so I don't know if you could see my, my taps on the screen, but the, I, the way I like to do it is I tap on what looks like the elevation drawing uh, as, a, as opposed to the bird's eye view from the 45 degree angle. That gives you those two little joystick controls on the left and the right. So you've got your forward, back, left, right, and then those two little arrows next to it are your elevation change. And then the control on like the right joystick is your is your pivot. Um, I find that those two things work really well 
and allows clients to kind of fly through the home, sit, chat. Um, you know, I typically give them a little uh, walk and talk or I do it via Zoom or whatever just to get them educated on the app at first. Um, but like I posted in the last one, really curious to know if you guys use this feature uh, at all with your clients. Uh, I find that it, it works really well. Okay, I want to take a second and talk about two other pieces of technology uh, that I use to help me in my business. Uh, first is Materio. Uh, it is a specking, quoting project management software. Uh, and the second is Render, uh, which I am new to, admittedly, but am liking so far. It is an iPhone app that allows you to not only measure uh, your existing environment, but also spit out a, a DWG file and import it directly in the chief uh, with with very uh, few steps, uh, converting everything into walls, windows, and doors. Uh, so you're up and running with an as-built very quickly. Okay, so we're in one of my projects in Materio here. Now there is a lot to this software, so I'm gonna keep this brief and just show you how powerful this is. They have a lot of great screen records on their website to show you just how in-depth this stuff can get. Uh, but basically I've got my chief architect plans imported here. And if you notice, as I roll over different highlighted areas, they're actually products that I've specced into the project. As you click on something, it will bring up the detail screen. Now, this was one of a few different options that I had sent to my client, but as you can see here, this has been approved by the client. It's got the ship, it's got the delivery confirmation. I've got a link to the manufacturer website. So before this was approved, he had three or four different options he could look at. He could decline or accept based on that. So from an organization standpoint, from a location standpoint, I am absolutely obsessed with this software. I think these guys have done an incredible job. I've tested a lot of different platforms. This, without a doubt, is my go-to. So I'm on my third project working with Materio now. I absolutely love it. Um, as I mentioned, I've used a lot of different softwares throughout my career, um, and none of them seem to do the job just right. This one actually does. Uh, they've got powerful time tracking uh, components here. They've got powerful uh, monetary and finance components here. Um, but for me, the specking of the, of, the, of the products, locating them on the plan, being able to track all the orders, I think it's absolutely fantastic. But curious to hear what you guys use. Um, you know, I'm gonna drop a question box here. Uh, input the software that you use that you love. Uh, let me know what you're working on because I'd be curious to check it out too. All right, so next up is Render. Um, so the, the next uh, post you'll see is a screen record of, of how it captures the measurements uh, in your space. Uh, it's really interesting. I think it uses a combination of LiDAR and the cameras. Um, it seems to be really accurate. Uh, again, I'm just in the testing phases with it. Um, I've got to jump into a couple of meetings here, but in an hour or two, I'm going to come out and um, based on this screen capture, I'll show you what the DWG import looks like going into Chief Architect and then how you can just jump into work. So this is me just scanning my office guest room and guest bathroom uh, right here at, at my house. Um, Yes, that is a fire pole in my office. I reinstalled it during my renovation. If you haven't checked out, check out the the build.tv uh, and you can see uh, all the documentation around around my firehouse renovation. All right, I am back. Holy cow. Uh, day got away from me at an absolute ton of meetings. Um, and coincidentally, one of them was, was very beneficial to have Chief open. So I actually shot a time lapse working with um, my, uh, my production customer. 
where I'm designing a set for television. So we literally stood at my desk here, had the program open, and I was making adjustments in real time so we could tailor the set for exactly what he needs to show uh, the network in order to hopefully get this show approved. Um, so you, you'll see that time lapse running. Um, and then uh, there are a couple of questions I saw that came in uh, over the last couple hours, so I will uh, I'll answer those, and then uh, and then I'll be signing off. So hope you found today useful. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it, um, and uh, and if you did enjoy it, uh, please follow along. I would appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Hey, Johnny, thanks for the question. Um, yeah, I just went to the website. Uh, I have tested this out. I think I tried it when it was super early phase because um, I remember not being thrilled with the results, but um, but it's always worth a second try, right? There, uh, People are always I improving on technology. Um, so I, I'll, I'll definitely give it a shot. Um, the other thing I did want to mention about that render app, I've been chatting with a developer and just giving him feedback. Um, the, the DWG export is not released yet, it is coming. So right now, if you're using it with Chief, you're getting a line drawing, you import it, and you trace over it. In an upcoming release, you're going to be able to import the DWG and then select a couple of um, uh, a couple of layers to convert into walls, windows, and doors. Uh, I've seen it work. He sent me a loom. It looks really cool. So it's coming. But uh, thanks for this, and I will definitely give it a second shot. Studio Nola, thanks for the question. Um, look, if I'm being honest, I am not an expert user. Um, it's one of the reasons I love Chief. Um, when I spent my first six months teaching myself, uh, Chief Architect has an amazing online knowledge base. If you guys aren't aware, in their search bar, you type anything, you're either gonna get a video showing you how to do it made by the company itself, or the online user forums pop up and everybody is super, super helpful there. So um, I did ultimately wind up taking the intermediate kitchen course, uh, kitchen and bath design course. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend playing with the program for a couple of months by yourself because it gives you enough of a basis to really get everything out of the class. And given the knowledge base that these guys have online, it's fantastic. That's the long way of saying I don't really have any tips or tricks for you, but I'm open to any that you guys may have. Uh, love the program, love how quick, fast I can work in it. Yeah, so kind of finishing my thought from the last one. Um, I like that I can work quickly, and I really like, as you just saw in that time lapse posted a few minutes ago, I'm confident enough to work in real time with a customer. Now this is a B2B customer, so it's a little different than a homeowner, but this is somebody who's used to being in these softwares and used to iterating on design. But I can work in real time with someone standing next to me, not feel that pressure, and be able to make a meaningful, substantive improvement on what we're trying to accomplish. So I think that's one of uh, the, the biggest things. The other thing that I love is just all the 3D visualization tools it gives you. I mean, you can go in, hang paintings on the wall, you can set tables. There's really no limit to how far you can go with the amount of detail you put into your models other than your, your own creativity. So. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I've been using the software since about 2015, which I think was X10, and it has come a long, long way. X15 is absolutely incredible. Hey, thanks for this one, Janet. Uh, I am not familiar with this platform, and for those who aren't aware, this is uh, in response to um, the question about what platform do you use uh, when, I was, when I was showing you guys material earlier today. Uh, I am not familiar with it. I'll certainly take a look, and I encourage everybody to check out Materio as well. Um, really, really fantastic platform. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, appreciate you hanging for the day. Appreciate you following along. Um, you know, tap here if you if you want to follow. Um, I, I love trading design advice. Uh, I respond as, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and uh, and certainly love to, to collaborate with other designers, architects, uh, anybody in the, uh, in the creative field. So uh, hope you found it useful. Um, let me know. And uh, see you around.